In this video today, I'll be teaching you guys the exact strategy that helped me pass my funded account. Now, this strategy is a full ICT strategy that I learned from ICT himself watching a four and a half long hour video. And I'll be breaking it down in literally 10 minutes for you guys. If you are unable to sit through this 10 minute video, then there is no hope for you guys whatsoever. And to prove to you guys that I've, I, I'm an actually funded trader, I can show you guys in our free telegram, all of my payouts always get shared into our free telegram. We've got a $7,600 payout here. And then if I swipe up slightly more, we have another £7,500 payout from FTMO itself. Do join the link in below, which is going to be our free telegram, tons of free content. Whoever comes through YouTube, and I mean this, whoever comes from YouTube will be passing a profit and fail them 100% free in celebration of my payouts and our rapid growth. 100k, 200k, 300k accounts will be passed completely free. This is our telegram at ZMN Admin. Do drop us a message. Now, jumping into the video, this is the strategy that you will use to pass your funded account. And listen up, guys. I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips on the approach to actually take when actually purchasing a challenge account. So do sit and listen to the rest of this video. At the end, I'll be showing a strategy. But firstly, I need to tell you guys the approach that you guys should be taking when actually taking a prop firm challenge account. You need to actually understand the approach that we need to take when we are first taking an evaluation phase. Now, I know a lot of you guys have purchased so many accounts, blew so many accounts and are are unable to be passing these challenges right listen here guys some of you guys may not like what i'm going to say in this video because you've heard other things from your mentors but listen this is the truth and this is what works and i know a lot of you guys will understand this and as soon as i say it, it will instantly click within you okay guys so we're going to make a checklist for our prop firm evaluation approach and how we're actually going to take the approach so first things first guys you guys you guys sorry i didn't mean to type that out you guys have to purchase an account that you guys can actually afford, okay? Now, when I say actually afford, I don't mean you be saving up for the last six months to buy a 100K, 500 pound or $600 account, right? Purchase something that you know you can comfortably afford, that if you do end up failing it, you can purchase the next one straight away without it breaking your heart. Listen, you guys don't understand, a 50K account can literally change your life. A 100k account can literally change your life. For some of you guys, 10k account can literally be the beginning of changing your life. You don't have to strive for the moon straight away. Listen, we're going to compound over time. We first need to lock in that first funded account, get payouts, which will fund all of our other accounts. Okay, guys, this is the model that we're taking. Now, purchase an account that you can actually, actually afford. Now, we're going to be going on th off the basis of an FTMO where the first phase is uh, 10%. And the second phase is going to be 5%. Now, I want you guys, I know this is going to sound crazy. I want you guys risking, sorry, 1.5 to 2% per trade. Okay? Crazy. But listen, hear me out. 1.5 to 2% a trade. All those traders out there, all those mentors out there saying risk 0.5% per trade. You know, it might take you three months to get a challenge done. No. We're trying to change our life here. We're not trying to sit here idle. And a lot of you guys cannot sit patiently for four months without breaking your trading rules. But what a lot of you can do and what is more sustainable is not breaking your trading rules for two weeks at least. And within those two weeks, if you don't break your trading rules, you can actually pass a full on funded account. Imagine how crazy that sounds. OK, guys, like, I'm, like I said to you guys, I'm not here to talk bullshit. I'm not here to beat around the bush like your mentors do. I'm getting straight to the point. 1.5 to 2% per trade. Imagine you're hitting one to threes. Literally one trade can do half of your account, phase one. Whereas if you're risking 0.5, you'll be getting in what? 1 to 1.5% 1 per trade. That's a winning trade. Then you've got to do that 10 more times. How likely is it that you, you won't break your rules in the next 10 trades? But how likely is it that you won't break your rules in the next three trades? You guys get where I'm coming from? It makes so much more sense. Please try this out on a demo account if you don't believe me. 1.5 to 2% per trade is what is going to pass your account within the same month. And that is what we need. We need to start changing our life quickly. Okay, guys? So that's that. And um, basically, that's the uh, that's the approach that I wanted to explain to you guys. So one important rule is purchase an account that you can actually afford. And the second is going to be 1.5 to 2% per trade. Okay, guys? Very, very straightforward. Now, what I'm going to do is show you guys a strategy that you can actually implement now using the same approach when taking a funded challenge. Okay, guys. So 
let's jump into the actual strategy side of the video. So I'm going to leave this up here. So the strategy. Now we need to understand, right, what times can we actually trade this strategy that I'm about to mention? So first things first, it's going to be the London, uh, the New York open kill zone, sorry, which is going to be from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay, guys. And also the London open kill zone, which is going to be from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Okay, guys. So now the timings that I'm referring to are in ICT, uh, sorry, New York timing as ICT does do uh, refer to New York time at all times. So it just makes it easier for me to teach it. Um, so yeah, this is going to be New York time and convert to your local time and all. If you want to change your time zone, your trading view time zone to New York, just toggle the time zone view, uh, button, bottom right corner and go to UTC minus four for New York. So that's the timing we're going to be trading this strategy. Okay. London open kills zone and New York open kills zone. I will show you guys a indicator if you struggle finding out where on the chart that is now. What pairs can we trade this on? It's going to be Euro USD, GBP USD, and gold. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't trade it on indices. Of course you can, but um, I haven't personally tested it myself. I just trade GBP USD, Euro USD, and gold. That's my personal favorites, and I know it works on those pairs. So if that's that. So what are the steps that we are going to actually need for this um, uh, this strategy? So we're going to need a liquidity sweep. We're going to need a market structure shift and we're going to need an order block or a fair value gap. Okay, guys, that is what we are going to need. And that is exactly the whole strategy. Now, what I'll do is I'll actually break it down to you guys on how to actually find the strategy on your chart. So first things first, you want to mark out whatever session you trade. Now, I want to make sure if you guys win a trade in London open kill zone, don't trade for the rest of the day. Don't try and force New York because you don't want to give your winners back. Okay your profits back especially so mark out london open kill zone for example so that might for you that's 2 a.m to let's say that's 5 a.m okay guys so that's going to be that prior to your session starting okay guys uh you have no bearing on price you let price do exactly what it wants where it goes up down sideways whatever it does done and then when it comes to your session starting right this is where you are now actively looking for a setup now First things first, we need a liquidity sweep. So what we need to do is on the fifth, oh sorry, what I did forget to mention is the time frames that we're gonna be using this on is the 15 minute and the five minute, okay? So in the 15 minute, you're gonna mark out your liquidity areas. So um, we have a whole video on liquidity on our channel, but uh, breaking it down in short terms is basically significant highs and lows. So this significant high we can mark out here and we can mark out this significant low here as our sell side liquidity. So we marked out our buy side and we also need to mark out our sell side, which is here. Okay, done. Now, what is above buy side liquidity? Above buy side liquidity is sell stops. So if buy side liquidity gets taken, we look for sells. What's below sell side liquidity? Buy stops. If sell side liquidity gets taken, we are looking for buys. So when our session starts, right, we simply wait for one of these liquidity areas to get taken, okay? Bang. Now, as soon as that gets taken, we drop into the five minute instantly. As soon as we drop into the five minute, what are we seeking? We are seeking a market structure shift. As simple as that. Bang. Now, as soon as we get a market structure shift, we need an order block or a fair value gap. It's totally up to you guys what you guys uh, want to choose. I like order blocks over fair value gaps. It's just something that I'm a bit more comfortable using. Uh, it just makes a bit more sense to me. Um, so order block, I'll mark out this order block. Simple as that. Bang. Okay, so let's mark this out as an order block. Then what you're going to wait for is a simple retracement back into your order block, entry, and then a target opposing liquidity. And that is how easy this strategy is. So simple, so straightforward. And I'll actually be showing you guys a live example in just a second. But hopefully you guys understand that. I will give you a live example now, uh, just so you guys can understand it fully. But before I do, I want to mention please do join our Telegram. Uh, the link is going to be in the description below. Completely free, so much value, trade ideas, signals we put out into there. We will pass a funded talent to whoever comes from YouTube, completely free of charge, 100K, 200K will be done for you guys, completely free if you mention they come from YouTube. This is our Telegram at ZMN Admin. Uh, we have a whole uh, mentorship for 49.99 for a lifetime now. That I don't even think you can buy lunch for that these days. As you can see, so much value, so many trade ideas. We've got a whole mentorship, whole strategy video on the same exact strategy I use, taking into account higher time frame bias, 
Uh, we've got weekly breakdowns every week. So please do join our free telegram in the link below. So much free value in there, okay? And I'll show you guys a live example of this uh, strategy now. Uh, to the live section of this video. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys a live example of the same strategy that I showed you. Now remember the approach of the prop firm challenge uh, evaluation phase that I told you. That's the main important takeaway from this video. A lot of people will say that's not the correct approach, but listen, we're trying to change our life here. There is a less chance of you breaking your rules within three trades than 10 trades. Get that into your mind. That is why it's very important that you choose a prop firm that you can, um, uh, sorry, a challenge that you can afford as well. Because you'll be, you, either, who cannot here pass a, no, sorry, not pass, trade and win three trades in a row. It's so doable. And even with this strategy I'm showing you in this video, you can literally apply this and do it with this strategy. That's how crazy it is. And today, as you guys are making this video on the 27th of May, this strategy played out in, today's session on the 27th of may new york session okay so that's exactly what i'm going to be showing you guys so first things first i'm going to be choosing uh, the new york session to be trading uh, for today so look bang new york session starts now this oh sorry this indicator that i wanted to show you guys is called kz boxes uh, it marks out london open kill zone as you can see 2 a.m till 5 a.m and then also new york time and as you can see from 7 a.m till 10 a.m if you guys want to use this indicator it is called Casey Boxes by David. Um, these are my settings as well for you guys want to use the same colors and stuff like that. But yeah, great, great indicator. So what we want to mark out is uh, our liquidity areas. Okay, guys. So again, we're going to mark out our buy side liquidity and then we're going to mark out our sell side liquidity. Okay. We're going to use significant highs and lows, not the inside internal ones, more like external is much better for liquidity. Mark them out sell side and buy side and then what do we do when our session starts we simply wait for one of these uh, liquidity areas to get grabbed so bang okay let's take that back look wicked and took that liquidity okay guys now as soon as we do that we get that and drop down into the five minute time frame as soon as that is done drop into the five minute time frame now what are we seeking a market structure shift now where is our high which we should seek a market structure shift from this is our high so we're seeking a market structure shift from there now unless it creates another high then we can go off of that so blah 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 okay created a new high how do we know this is a new high the candle before and after is below that swing point okay so we're going to move this market structure area from here so we let price develop a little bit create a new high which is even better because it's going to give us a better entry so now we seek a market structure shift bang market structure shift that wick has shifted now to make it more probable we do want a body close so we can simply wait for a body close bang beautiful amazing close right so done market structure shift now what are we seeking we are seeking for an order book or fair value gap so if i mark out what do we have here we have an order block here and, and also a fair value gap so it's dependent on what you guys want to choose if you choose the order block you get a precise a better precise entry but it's totally up to you guys okay so we wait for a retracement in what do we get here a tap into our order block okay guys okay? so that's exactly where we take our entry done and we're gonna have our stops just at this low because i don't expect this low to get taken at all and then what do we target we target external liquidity for a nice one to two let the trade play out and bang that is how clean and how simple this strategy is tell me you can't win three of these trades in a row tell me you can't do that with a two percent risk you're you're literally your phase one is done that's how simple it is passing a funded account guys hope you guys enjoyed this video remember do join our free telegram which is going to be in the link below so much free value again we'll be passing hft firms for you guys completely free 100k 200k i share so many of my payouts i've recently been to dubai so much free value in this so do join in the link below um and yeah uh, to the live section of this video now i'm going to be showing you guys a live example of the same strategy that i showed you now remember the approach of the prop firm challenge uh, evaluation phase that i told you that's the main important takeaway from this video a lot of people will say that's not the correct approach but listen we're trying to change our life here there is a less chance of you breaking your rules 
within three trades than 10 trades. Get that into your mind. That is why it's very important that you choose a prop firm that you can, um, uh, sorry, a challenge that you can afford as well. Because you'll be, you, either, who cannot here pass a, no, sorry, not pass, trade and win three trades in a row. It's so doable. And even with this strategy I'm showing you in this video, you can literally apply this and do it with this strategy. That's how crazy it is. And today, as you guys are making this video on the 27th of May, this strategy played out in today's session on the 27th of May. New York session, okay? So that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you guys. So, first things first, I'm going to be choosing uh, the New York session to be trading uh, for today. So look, bang. New York session starts now. This, oh sorry, this indicator that I wanted to show you guys is called KZ Boxes. Uh, it marks out London Open Kill Zone, as you can see, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. And then also New York time, and as you can see, from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you guys want to use this indicator, it is called KZ Boxes by david um these are my settings as well for you guys want to use the same colors and stuff like that but yeah great great indicator so what we want to mark out is uh our liquidity areas okay guys so again we're going to mark out our buy side liquidity and then we're going to mark out our sell side liquidity okay we're going to use significant highs and lows not the inside internal ones more like external is much better for liquidity mark them out sell side and buy side and then what do we do when our session starts we simply wait for one of these uh, liquidity areas to get grabbed. So, bang, okay, let's take that back. Look, wicked and took that liquidity, okay guys? Now, as soon as we do that, we get that and drop down into the five minute time frame. As soon as that is done, drop into the five minute time frame. Now, what are we seeking a market structure shift? Now, where is our high which we should seek a market structure shift from? This is our high, so we're seeking a market structure shift from there. Now, unless it creates another high, then we can go off of that. So, blah, blah, blah. Okay, created a new high. How do we know this is a new high? The candle before and after is below that swing point. Okay, so we're going to move this mark structure area from here. So we let price develop a little bit, create a new high, which is even better because it's going to give us a better entry. So now we seek a market structure shift. Bang. Market structure shift. That wick has shifted now. To make it more probable, we do want a body close. So we can simply wait for a body close. Bang beautiful amazing close right so done market just shift now what are we seeking we are seeking for an order book or fair value gap so if i mark out what do we have here we have an order block here and, and also a fair value gap so it's dependent on what you guys want to choose if you choose the order block you get a precise a better precise entry but it's totally up to you guys okay so we wait for a retracement in what do we get here a tap into our order block, okay, okay? So that's exactly where we take our entry, done. And we're gonna have our stops just at this low because I don't expect this low to get taken at all. And then what do we target? We target external liquidity for a nice one to two, let the trade play out and bang. That is how clean and how simple this strategy is. Tell me you can't win it three of these trades in a row. Tell me you can't do that with a 2% risk. You're, you're literally, your phase one is done. That's how simple it is passing a funded account, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, do join our free Telegram, which is going to be in the link below. So much free value. Again, we'll be passing HFT firms for you guys completely free, 100K, 200K. I share so many of my payouts. I've recently been to Dubai. So much free value in this. So do join in the link below. Um, and yeah.